If you grow up in Harlem, the dream of a community college or a university degree can seem totally out of reach. The reality is, at some schools, only half the young teens ever finish high school, much less go on to tackle college. But I know one group of kids from Harlem who are growing determined to be part of a high school class of 2015, and perhaps a college class of 2019. This year, the kids earned a chance to visit the University of Florida after catching a serious case of gator fever. I'm sorry. Um, extremely sorry. You know, we were hoping for an undefeated season. That was my goal. Something Florida's never done here. Tim Tebow's speech following the Gators' one-point loss to Ole Miss in September of 2008 grew legendary. But I promise you one thing. A lot of good will come out of this. You have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I will play the rest of the season, and you never see someone push the rest of the team as hard as I will push everybody the rest of the season, and you never see a team play harder than we will the rest of the season. God bless. And you can count an unusual group among the countless people inspired by Tebow's determination, students at Roberto Clemente Middle School in Harlem, New York. Before every opportunity, we get pumped and focused by watching the Gators football entrance video. The swamp. Only Gators get out alive. Typically, less than half the students at this Harlem Middle School will go on to graduate from high school. To encourage them to find the determination to make it, one teacher, a UF alum, has introduced them to Tebow and the Fighting Gators. Keith Robinson applied a UF theme to his seventh grade math class, calling them the Gator Nation class, painting the room orange and blue, and using UF videos as motivation tools. And they raised money to travel from Harlem to Gainesville to see UF firsthand. Our classmates now need you to help us finish our mission. Help us get to Gainesville and the University of Florida. Go to the link at the bottom of this page and do your part to help us show the power and importance of college education. Little did they know that that video would one day make their dreams come true and bring them here to the University of Florida. Raising more than $20,000 through an online fundraising site, Robinson was able to make that dream a reality. The word that keeps coming up is surreal because there's, there's no way in the three years of me thinking about this trip that I ever could have imagined that this is how it would go. Only 20 of Robinson's 90 students were granted the opportunity, 20 with the best grades and attendance and behavior records. The limited number of spots served as a motivation tool itself. One student who's on this trip, you know, barely passed the first marking period, um, and in this particular class it was science. His grade went up 30 points uh, second marking period in that same class. Um, and, and I asked him, I talked to him about it, and one of the reasons that he gave was this trip, that he wanted to go on this trip. Their three days at UF were filled with a lesson on real alligators. How many toes does it have on the front? Fun activities like bowling me and tours of campus. But it was the opportunity to speak with college students and professors that made the goal of graduating high school and attending college seem like a real possibility. I'm into engineering now because of um, a, pre a presentation that we saw. And uh, I also might want to be a lawyer. Like many of the Harlem students, Carolina would be the first in her family to go to college. But now she says she won't settle for anything less. And if she had her choice, once a gator, always a gator. If I had to choose, like, I really want to come here. After seeing everything I've seen, I really, really love UF. Keith Robinson says he hopes to make this trip an annual tradition. Another unique thing to note about the UF alum, class of 06, is that he wears orange and blue to school every single day. Except when their middle school has baseball games, then he wears their team colors.